Hi, my name's Nat Toon. I'm an applications engineer at Man and Machine. Today we're just going to take a quick look, quick tip at how to create some wall sweeps in Revit to increase the look of the walls. First of all, uh, I've got a just a standard project open of a technical school. You can zoom in in 3D view. I'm just going to jump over to layout um, of the furniture layout for the first floor and in here we can see we'll go, we'll go to this side we've got some uh, rooms no furniture in them at the moment and I want to just take a look at uh, one of these walls so I'm just going to use the camera position and just say I've stood over there in the corner and I'm looking in that direction that automatically opens up this view for me and if I change the view to shaded I can take a better look at my walls and what we're going to do is just look at some wall sweeps on these these internal partition walls in the, in the sense that we're going to put some skirting on them. So the first thing I need to do is select the wall and up here you can see that I've got the type of wall so 138mm partition, 1 hour fire rating. If I go to edit the permissions um, the properties for this wall let's just reduce the size of this, it's uh, filling up the screen a little bit there we go. Uh, I can actually go straight into the edit structure and have a look at how this wall is actually made up. And you can see the fire partition on this particular side here, uh, and on the other side there isn't any. The first thing we should always do before we actually change any of this, if I just cancel to come back to the main type properties, is make a duplicate of the file so that I've always got this one here. So I'm going to duplicate that one. And just give this one a new name. And I'm going to say it's with skirting, like so. And say OK. Now, in this duplicated version, I can go in and edit the structure. So, what I need to do is add a sweep. And you'll notice that the sweep is actually um, faded out, and I can't actually click on that. That is because I am actually viewing my thumbnail version here of the wall in plan view. If I change it here to have a look in section view I can now activate the sweep command. It's a bit far away that so I might want to, because I'm going to be working at the bottom on the sweep and I want to see the profile, rather than zooming in I can actually just change the sample height of that. So I'm just going to make that one metre high like so. And if I right click and say zoom to fit I can see closer up on this wall. So I've got the exterior side of the wall there and the interior side with the double skin plasterboard. And what I want to do is actually insert a sweep on that layer there. You can see as I select these layers it highlights them in, in the preview. So I'm going to click on my sweep, uh, sweep tab there and I'm going to add a profile. Profiles that are currently loaded into the project, there's only one at the moment, which is for the parapet cap at the top of the roof. So I'm going to hit load profile. This brings me to my standard library. And there's a folder in your standard library called profiles. So if I come down to profiles, then the profiles <coughs> are just simple 2D sketches saved as fa in a family file. So if I go into secondary carpentry fix, I've got in here skirting and a list of profiles that I can use. So I'm just going to pick the OG, OG one, nice nice profile there and say open that one. Then I'll be able to pick that from the list. You can see that family has several different uh, sizes. I'm going to go nice large 18 by 170 and then I'm going to apply material. So clicking on the little box brings up my material um, editor browser <coughs> and I'm just going to search here for wood, although I did just see wood there. So you can see I can do a, a good search and I've got lots of different types of wood here. I'm just going to pick the general, uh, we'll go for wood oak. And I'm going to make sure that well, that's uh, a good enough form the material, the appearance looks right, yeah, and that's the material I'm going to be using. So that wood, whoops, that's the same barrier there. Sorry, well, let's try that. Wood, I picked from the wrong list. Wood oak. 
but we'll go for a little timber and say use appear rendered appearance so let's say okay so the distance of the profile is the offset from either the base profile of the wall or from the top of the wall well it's a skirt so it's actually going to sit on the base so it doesn't really need an offset I'm not going on the exterior side I'm going to go on the interior side and I can offset that from the wall or set it back into the wall or even flip the profile upside down depending on what type of profile I'm, I'm using if the profile did go further in I could get it to cut in the wall I can also make this cuttable that's quite important for skirting cuttable basically meaning that if I insert a door window or anything into this wall it will actually cut that gap out for the skirting so we have that there I'm just going to apply and you can see it's okay down here I now have that sweep on the base there so I'll just say okay to that wall and okay again and we can see I've swapped that wall out now for that particular one with the skirting on if I just spin round to the other side whoops use my look instead So we can see down here, for instance, that um, I might want to have it join onto this wall. So if I select that wall as well and change that wall to the one with skirting, and here we go, you can see how it merges into that particular section there. So very simple tool where we can always go back into the wall, hit the type, edit the structure again, Whoops. edit the structure again, add more sweeps, add more profiles. If for instance I wanted one on the exterior side as well, if it was a if it was needed, all I'd have to do is select that one and actually duplicate and then just say put it on the exterior side as well. Simple as that. Again, ideally good habit to get into duplicating each time so make sure we've got several types of walls just in case you need to go back and forth so there we go that's got that now on the other side if we come through to there it's been around and then just move the camera view you can see we have the skirting down that side of the wall as well simple yeah effective hope you enjoyed that quick tip